A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Brexton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country way down in the West Indies, that is in the blue Caribbean. See, yes, boys and girls all over the world. Who will be fortunate to pick up this video on youtube and the internet and the world wide web i say welcome my invitation to my invitation to you all to hear in this message in this part two video spirit cooking part two video spirit cooking what all what spirit cooking is all about brothers and sisters in this new series as i said as i mentioned in part one i will mention in part two this recently I was strolling to on YouTube and I come across a video about spirit cooking. I look at the video and I was very intrigued what this spirit cooking is all about. I was very troubled concerning what spirit cooking is all about. And then again I download about three videos about spirit cooking to know what is the meaning of spirit cooking. To my surprise and amazement, I see it is of a terrible and of a sinful nature. Yes, I see. Of a terrible and sinful nature. Mark my words very, very clear what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. Spirit cooking. And I, Eric Braxton, this little West Indian boy, Caribbean boy, way down in the Caribbean, the West Indies. I'm very troubled. What is taking place in the United States of America with my white brothers and whosoever, whether they be black or Hispanic, involved in that spirit cooking or any part of the world? It is very troubling to know that this spirit cooking is of a sinful nature because it involves eating human flesh and the flesh of babies and of course maybe adult now brothers and sisters is that a good thing to eat human flesh as yourself of course not there is nothing good in that everything is bad in that and sinful in that because God the Creator when he created the first two human beings upon the earth Adam and Eve and placed them in that wonderful garden did God the Father and Jesus Christ tell Adam and Eve, the children that you all will be got, you, you will have to eat them? The question is no. I go my neighbor. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and come back. Go ahead now. That's my wife I talking to. So brothers and sisters, when Cain, well, unfortunately now, when Cain and Abel sin and God cast them out of the garden, God did God instruct Adam and Eve? And when I mean when Adam and Eve sin our first two human parents and God cast them out of that garden and they went and had sex and produced skin and evil and of course sons and daughters. Did God instruct the human family, Adam and Eve, to eat the sons and daughters? The answer is no. God is not involved in cannibalism in no way. Classic example. Classic example, when the children of Israel was out in the wilderness, when God delivered them out of 400 years and 430 years of slavery in Egypt by the hand of his servants Moses and Aaron and Miriam, did God any way instructed Moses, Aaron and Miriam or any of the elders of Israel when the children of Israel was hungry in the wilderness and thirsty and they pick up stone to stone Moses and Aaron and, and the elders and all the people who supported Moses and said we are hungry provide us food and water did God instruct Moses to take a certain number of the children of Israel and kill them and feed the rest of the children of Israel did God introduce cannibalism to the children of Israel in the wilderness? The answer is no. So cannibalism, so from that classical example, we could firmly say, brothers and sisters, and all the true Christians in the body of Christ, can firmly stay and stand on that standpoint, that cannibalism is not of God, because 
God did not introduce it, introduce it among the children of Israel when they was hungry. He provided food for them in the wilderness. Yes, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, where the history of cannibalism come in amongst the human family. And in modern times, well, we know it's not of God. And throughout the century, we have heard many reports in Africa and other parts of the world that when people get lost in the forest and a person dies, they start to eat them for survival if there's no animals around, etc. etc. We have grown up as children hearing these reports and also seeing it in movies for entertainment purpose, but based on reality. Having said so, brothers and sisters, to know in modern time that there is something called spirit cooking that is taking place amongst people from all walks of life in the United States of America and especially other parts of the world. Eating of human flesh, whether it be a baby or adult. Brothers and sisters, God created the human family not to eat one another. And eating of human flesh is wrong, and it is a sinful and a bubba-nebba act. Yes, my dear friend. So in this video part one and part two, this current video part two, anyone who sees this video on the internet and the world wide web, and I in that diabolical, evil, sinister practice, eating human flesh or drinking human blood, I, Eric Braxton, by the power of of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ is give a saying to you to you man who is involved in that and to you woman who is involved in that to you young boy who are involved in that and to you young girl who parents have introduced you to that or any of your family have introduced you to that sinister diabolical practice desist from it immediately because there is hope for you all Stop drinking that animal blood, stop drinking that human blood, and stop eating that human flesh. Whether you grew up in a cult, or a secret society, or a satanic group, or a satanic family that practice that, or any levels of the Freemasonry, family of Freemasonry, desist from that practice immediately there's hope for you all and don't tell me there's no hope for you all yes there's hope for you all in the name of jesus christ he's the one to set you all free from that sinister and diabolical and shameful practice of drinking animal blood drinking human blood and eating babies whether it be a young child baby or adult flesh it is not of god and god is displeased against that and any one of you all are practicing that, which in fact is being practiced secretly or openly, it is abomination and God is against it. And we the true Christians, the saints of God is against it. So I'm instructing you all, desist from that practice immediately. My dear brother, my dear man, my dear gentleman, my dear madam, my dear boy, young boy, young girl, Decease from that practice immediately. It is not of God. And since it's not of God, do you all want to please all the Creator God, the one who is responsible for you all bringing you all on this earth? Well, then He, oh, he need you all to do the right thing. And He will give you all the strength to come out of that practice. But first, you all have to recognize that it is, is, it is a detestable practice. That it is an evil practice. You all have to come to the realization of that. And have a willingness to abandon that practice, to renounce it from all your life, and to free all yourself from that. By depending upon Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, to give you all the strength that he will deliver you all from that practice and set you all free. Of any of that evil practice because whosoever the son of man set free jesus christ he is free indeed yes my dear friends brothers and sisters in christ and also the body of christ so i eric braxton 
this little Christian boy, this little Christian child, or the Christian Caribbean brother who is way down in the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago in the West Indies, who are hearing about this spirit cooking that is taking place in America. I am hearing about that and I'm very troubled in my heart, mind and soul. To see that you all are dulging in this spirit cooking that is not of God. It is it an evil practice. And as I said, I'm troubling my heart, mind and soul. And my message to you all is to abandon it immediately and decease from it. Immediately, my dear brothers and sisters. My dear brother, this is my message to you all in this part two video, brothers and sisters. Well, brothers and sisters, I've come to my 10 minutes mark because normally my video, my video at 10 minutes. And only Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Son, when you all abandon that practice by following my instruction, you all need to give all the heart to Jesus Christ by buying, going to the nearest bookstore, if or if you all have a Bible, a original King James Bible, and began reading the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, and you all will discover that drinking animal blood and eating human flesh is wrong. You all will discover that, brothers and sisters, in the words of God. Brothers and sisters, so you all need to begin reading the Bible to know the word of God and the teaching of the scriptures, my dear brothers and sisters. Well, brothers and sisters, I have much to, to, to say to you all and I have much to instruct you all in the right way, in the, in the road forward, in the way forward. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. So, I have come to the end of this part two video. Once again, may the grace of God be with you and with me and with the human family from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.